With the coming of Gamescom, we got what is certainly the biggest info drop on Halo 5 Guardians yet, and the upcoming multiplayer beta. So let's take a look and see what we can expect. This is everything we know about Halo 5. To start, the campaign will feature both the Master Chief and Agent Locke as playable characters, so likely a split campaign like Halo 2. We know that we'll likely see human cities and locations with strong connections to the Sangheili, if that means Sangheilios or a colony is still unknown. And of course, we're facing a threat that is putting the whole galaxy at risk. What that threat is, is unknown. On the multiplayer side, we will of course have the multiplayer beta, running from December 27th, 2014 to January 18th, 2015, a total of three weeks. This beta is almost a year in advance of the final game, meaning feedback we give could have a direct impact on that final product. Take advantage of this, Halo fans. The beta will feature seven maps, three game modes, 11 weapons, and have a strict focus on arena gameplay. Quite the selection, hopefully indicative of what we'll see in the final title. Two of the maps are seen in the recent Vidoc, one being a midship remake. The ship is seen near a Halo, likely Installation 04, given that the planet nearby heavily resembles Threshold. If multiplayer is still set on Infinity, a map set in the past isn't exactly out of the question. The other map seen is set on a human facility owned by Lethbridge Industries. Also seen in the trailer are some of the weapons for Halo 5. We have the Assault Rifle, what looks like a BR with a red dot sight, the SMG, the DMR, what appears to be an RPG, and the Sniper Rifle. It's been speculated that the RPG-like device might in fact be the new rocket launcher, but I'm leaning more towards a new weapon altogether. Also interesting is that when we see the new midship, we can see what looks like a hologram of the energy sword. Could Halo 5 be taking a new approach, with weapons represented as holograms only to materialize when picked up by players? Or might this just be a random hologram? Who knows for now. The beta will also let players customize their armor, choosing from 7 sets for the beta alone. In the trailer, we can see two Spartans with some of the possible armor options. One is clearly wearing the aviator armor with the operator forearms, and another is wearing what appears to be the armor Fred 104 was wearing in Halo Escalation number 8. And indeed, they look to be the same armor when compared side by side. The new armor even has 104 in braille on the chest. One cannot help but speculate that Blue Team might be making an appearance in Halo 5. Some later images also feature a Spartan with Halo 4's Defender armor. Halo 5's beta will also feature the return of default fair starts, Frankie having confirmed some time ago that loadouts and armor abilities are gone. Halo 5 will give each player default Spartan abilities, meaning things that a player can do without a map pickup or armor abilities. Think dual wielding or sprint in Halo 4. Finally, the Halo 5 beta will allow players to obtain certain unlocks that will carry over to Halo 5. What these are is unknown for now, so keep your ears to the ground. That's all for now. Stay tuned to Halo Cannon for everything Halo as it happens. Or, as soon as I'm not working. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.